But how did you... Good work, Repeat. Looks like our little game of tag is over, Reggae. <laughs> n no. I'll have to show you my really real power. No way! Huh. So that's what's been going on. What does this mean? Was he disguising himself as Reggae? I don't think we have time to worry about the particulars right now. Oh, me, oh, my. How terribly frightening. I don't know what I'd do if I were to end up like poor Rago. What do you mean? What happened to him? Oh, they found his body face down in a riverbed back in Dongrest. I just couldn't bear it if I ended up like that, you know. Rago is... dead? But why? Mm, I'm afraid that's not for me to say. I, my lips are zipped up tight, for sure. Oh, not that way! Jaeger! Ta-da! The reinforcements have arrived! Gosh, Drotz, the rest I leave up to you. As you wish. Aye, aye, sir! <laughs> Not on my watch. I'll see you in the funny papers, Lichin. from our enemies. You're not gonna make fools of us! But with those injuries... Let us withdraw. Bye-bye for now! Man, this stinks. Where'd this smoke come from?
They're throwing our canine friend here off the scent. As long as we put up with the smell, we'll be fine. But I can't stand that smell. We're going after them. I never would have guessed there would be an air crane in the Weezen of Kados. Me neither. I guess nobody passing through ever noticed it. It must not have been putting out enough air until now for anyone to feel the effects. Sounds right. Sure picked the perfect time to start going crazy. That was a serious pain. Well, I was able to log a new discovery, so it worked out in the end. Yeah, so glad you enjoyed yourself. So, someone has one of those air crane you found? Rita, you explain. I'm all ears. I've been participating in the conversation, right? Uh, what is with this heat? We've passed through the caverns and come out on the other side of the mountains. So you mean... Those are the sands of Kogor. Whoa. We made it all the way there? The sands of Kogor. Pharaoh's here. I... am going on... to meet Pharaoh. Wait! We can't just let you go alone! I mean, our job right now is to protect you. Well, we did get the stolen box back, right? Yeah, I guess we can't just keep chasing him around. <laughs> All right, we'll take care of him next time. Hold on. Are you seriously going? Do you know what you're saying? This is a desert. It's hot. People die here, get it? I'm ready for it. I think. The desert is divided into three regions. Huh? The foothills to the west, the center where it's hottest, and the massive peaks to the east. Hey, hold on. There's a town between the end of the western foothills and the central area. Where did you hear that? I went there with a friend once. It's a nice town built up around an oasis. We'll hold off on any major decisions until we get there then. Sounds good to me. Old Raven wouldn't be able to think straight till he cools off. What are you gonna do, Patty? What's that treasure you're searching for? Maristella, was it? Well, I can't guarantee you'll find any clues in that town, though. Don't worry. As long as there are people, I'm sure there'll be clues. Well, there are people living there. Then I'll be joining you. Rita. I know. We'll make that our first destination. soon enough.
If you're here for the air crene, the monster already got it under control. I heard. Heard? From who? But Regé... Uh, I, I mean, Jaeger, was the only other person here then. Wait, then you and Jaeger are... I thought I told you. Stay away from the air crene. Sorry about that. We just totally stumbled on this one by accident. Honest. Then you will leave immediately. Do not return again. Hold on a second. Okay, what is with his attitude? We're already here, so we can just leave after you've examined it. You're kidding, right? Aren't there plenty of other things we should be doing instead? Well, we do, but... <sighs> we all do. Estelle. All right, then. Let's go. Rita, you too. You'll be gone soon enough. Seems like a pretty sleepy town. Well, in this heat? There are knights even here, though! I don't recall seeing such intimidating people here the last time I came. All right, I'm off to search for clues about the treasure. Bye-bye for now. You're leaving? Oh, so you want me to stay a little longer, eh? Well, it's been fun and all, but I'm sure Patty's got things she needs to take care of. Then I guess it's time for me to be off. Be careful out there. All right. Shall we each go our own way for now? <sighs> On for that. Before I do anything, I want to give these feet a rest. Okay, then. Let's meet up in front of the inn after sunset. Okay. See you then. No easy thing looking out for everybody else. Well, I think we all could use a little time to think things over. <laughs> the kids are all right. Sorry to have dragged you all the way out here. Hmm. Whoa, what's with that face? Hearing you apologize like that puts me a little bit on edge is all. I mean, you still have to deliver that letter to Bellius, right? Yeah, but if I can't see her until the new moon, then that's that, ain't it? Till then, I'm at the mercy of the princess's whims. Well, well, aren't you easygoing? You sure about that? If we spend too long out here and you miss the new moon, the Don will yell at you for sure. Nah, I'm used to being yelled at. If I gotta wait, I can wait until the next new moon. It ain't like we're gonna run out of new moons anytime soon. You certainly sound patient. You sure about this? Of course. Patience is something you'll learn with age. Ugh, I swear. Well, making the right decisions is part of being an adult too. I'll leave as soon as I feel like I have to. Anyway. Let me travel with you kids for a while longer. Sure, whatever you want. I feel like my world is crashing down around me. I can't believe Ruin's Gate was secretly selling weapons. And that they were smuggling them illegally out of ruins. Sometimes you have to have shadow where there's light, I guess. That's so sad, though. 
you don't need to worry about those guys. Just keep living your life the way you know is right. And lead brave Vesperia to victory with pride. Yeah, you're right. Anyway, we need to worry about Pharaoh for now. Yeah, we finally made it into the desert. It feels like we're almost there. Hey, once we're done with this commission, you think we could go back to Dongress for a bit? Hmm. Let's wait until we've wrapped up our current job to talk about that. Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, where are you off to? Nowhere in particular, just going on a walk. What about you? Where were you going? I just wanted to get a look at the desert terrain we were going to be headed into next. It's good to be prepared. So how was it? It was hot. Well, I assumed as much. But it wasn't as hot as I thought it'd be. Hmm. Well, okay. But what I wanted to know was if Pharaoh was out there. Right. That'd be nice. Oh, well. I guess we couldn't expect him to be that easy to find. <sighs> what? You want to go out and check for yourself? No, that's okay. If we head out to look for him, we should do it together. Oh, I see. Yuri. Hey, why the long face? Is the desert really as dangerous as they say? I don't think Rita joke around with such a serious look on her face. Yeah, I guess not. I've dragged all of you all the way out here. You should stop worrying about all of us. Huh? I mean, we're just doing what we feel like doing. But what about you? What do you want to do? M me? I... You were saying that you need to figure out who you are, weren't you? Yes, that's true, but... Estelle, you're Brave Vesperia's client. If you tell us to go somewhere, we'll go there. And if you tell us to go for you, we'll find Pharaoh and drag him back here. Yuri... Then I... There's no need to rush to give me an answer. Take your time. <sighs> Still here? What? Were you feeling lonely and came to find me? Isn't the reason that you've been wandering around here because you're the one who's lonely and wanted to see me? You got me. Now marry me. I'll consider it when you're an adult. Ah, there you are. Who are you? Uh, just an acquaintance of hers. He's my husband. Well, whatever. I got the info about the Maristella that you wanted. I appreciate that. But first, is it true that you're Eifried's granddaughter? Huh? It's a rumor I heard. Is it true? Hmm. So it is true. If that's the case, then I can't give this to you. If it gets out that I did business with the granddaughter of a guy who broke the guild's rules, no one will trust me. Eifried is... I don't know about you. But for those of us who live in the world of the guilds, Eifried is the most unforgivable guy out there. I can't afford to be involved with someone going around claiming to be one of his relatives. So don't you show your face in front of any of us ever again. <sighs> and if you pull anything on any of the members of my guild out of resentment, we're not gonna take it lying down. I can guarantee you you'll regret it if you think that World Cellar is no more than a map-making guild do anything like that. Oh, really? In any case, the blood of a coward who would attack ships while feigning to protect them runs through your veins. I can't even begin to guess what's running through your head. Mm. 
And as for you, I don't know if you're really her husband, but I'd suggest steering clear of this one. So you just take it all in silence, huh? I just don't know whether he's actually my grandfather and what actually happened in that massacre. I don't know what's true and what's a lie, whether he was a villain or a saint. All I know is that my grandfather was very important to me. That is why I can neither admit or deny what people say. So you don't even know who you are yourself, huh? I know that much at least. Then wasn't there something you could have said? It's okay. I'm used to people saying all sorts of things about my grandfather. I don't care about any of that nonsense. I'll just keep searching for treasure in my own way. You're putting on a pretty tough act. You better not start crying once you're all on your own. What good would crying get me? You see, my motto is, no matter how tough the situation is, crying gets you nowhere. Well, I guess it's really none of my business. Still, it's not like you can go treasure hunting without any clues. Oh, don't worry. I've got clues. Later! You can't open that without a key. I know. Are you really going to return it? Yes, I am. You got a problem with that? Nope. You saw what happened in Nordopolica. This thing made it so I couldn't control my magic. The clear CL crystal inside this box interferes with air somehow. Interferes with air? How could a tiny box like this do something like that? I don't know. That's why I wish I could open this box somehow. There's a good chance that we'd be able to find a key for the box in Jormgen. For me, this doesn't have anything to do with Estelle wanting to return it anymore. So then you're gonna look for the town of Jormgen that was mentioned in that diary? Yes, if I can. If you can? I can't leave Estelle behind. Sure you can, if you want to. I'd like to leave her behind, but I can't. <clears throat> I've never had a problem like this before. Why? She couldn't be serious about going alone into the desert, could she?